everyone, welcome to our channel. This is Dry First Lightning. I am Stan. Today is a Q&A video, because from years' experience in lightning sale, we summarize some common problems you may have. We hope this will help you in some way. And all these questions are mainly for the beam light. Okay, let's get started. And the first problem, uh, we just released our 7R Plus, and many customers are very interested in this beam. They wonder if it's possible to use other brand, but with the same power lamps in our 7R. And the answer is definitely no, because all the lamps and the baluster must be matched and adjusted before sent out from factory. So you can't use other brand lamps in our light. And the second problem, when you power up the light, it won't work or has no response. When you meet this problem, I need you to first check out the fuse to see if it's broken or damaged the need to change. And then I need you to check out your power supply to see if the output is right. And to do that, you have to use another tool, a multimillimeter. You can do that with this one. And uh, in the third solution, I need you to find the motherboard and uh, check if the circuit is working normally. Usually, the motherboard is installed on one side of the beam, like this part. After we remove the arm shells, we can see the motherboard. And as you see, there is a red indicator light. And it means the light is in good condition. But if this indicator is off, that means there is some problem in the motherboard or the power side. And in the third problem, after working a while, the light may reset automatically. And this may be caused by unstable output from power supply. You will need to change a new one then. Another possibility is bad contact of cable. If the cable is loose like this, it is very easy for the light to reset. So make sure all the cables are connected well. In the fourth problem, why does the lamp go out automatically? First, if the lamp turns on again automatically, you may need to check the cooling system, which is the fan. If the fans don't work, the light will be overheated. And to protect the lamp itself, it will turn off automatically for cooling down. However, if the lamp won't turn on again, and you can see obvious white or black in the lamp, it means it's running out of time, and it's time to change your new one. Also, the protection program will be triggered if there is no control signal for a long time, and the lamp will turn on again after the signal goes back. Okay, the fifth problem. Some customers may find that their screen is out of control or there is no display at all. First, we need to check the cable connection. We can open up the base and check the screen motherboard here. You can see some cables. Make sure all these cable connections are well. And after all this check, if the screen still can be used, we can assume that the motherboard is damaged. Get yourself a new one. OK, here comes the sixth problem. When we power up the light and the lamp is on, all the motors reset to its original point. But why we can't control the light by our console? We can take this 7R Plus as an example. First, we need to make sure all the DMX connection is well. And if so, you will see a DMX indicator light on. It means all the DMX connection is well. Then we have to check the DMX address. Make sure the address is consistent with your console. Find the DMX address in the menu and change the DM change the address here, make sure they are the same as your console. The seventh problem, now we have lighted up this light and uh, this one is connected to our console successfully, we can control the light now, but after the reset, we can get the white color. First one, we have to check your whole system, make sure the distance between whole piece and the magnet is around two two to three millimeters and the position function goes well. 
then we have to make sure all the function data goes back to zero. If not, we cannot get the white color after the reset. The next problem, imagine that you are using this light now and suddenly you feel the motor's auto step or it's shaking. You can first open up this light and uh, see which motor goes wrong. And then you can check the motherboard, make sure the motherboard is not damaged. If you are not very professional in this, you can ask us, we'll help you in this. And then we have to make sure the whole, whole system goes well, make sure the distance is all right and the whole piece is not damaged. Now we have to check some screws, make sure they are not loose. For example, this one, these screws fix the strop to the motors, and these screws fix the strop motors in the light. And we also get more motors here. These screws fix the function wheels to the motors, and then these screws here fix the function motors in your light. We have to make sure all these screws are tight and not loose, or you will get the motors shaking or auto step. Also, there are more motors in your light. You have to check them one by one to make sure they are all fixed well. Well, the last problem, why the pen and the tail movements are out of control and cannot be positioned. Okay, here on one side of the arm is pen movement system. We need to check the screws which fix the belt and the motors. Make sure they are not loose. Then let's check the belt. Make sure it's not loose or damaged. Another reason is the whole system. Here is a whole piece for the tilt movement. And here is a whole piece for the pen movement. They control the position function in your light. You may need to adjust the whole piece to make sure the position function goes well. And for detailed information, you can refer to our last video of how to repair your whole system. The above are the common problems we have summarized. If you have more questions, you can leave us in the comment. We will do another Q&A episode. Remember to subscribe our channel. See you in the next video. Bye.